Today I'm going to introduce you to someone I admire greatly. Her name is Jenna McKay. I first met Jenna in 2006. I hired her for a part-time job. And while she worked for me, unknown to me at the time, she was living a nightmare most of us could never imagine. In hindsight, she was asking for my help on many occasions, but in my naivete, I had no idea that tragedy was unfolding in her daily life. I tell you this because I think it is important for you to understand that what Jenna has survived happens every day in small, safe towns across America to people we know, and yet most of us are blissfully unaware of the enormity of violence that is happening at our doorsteps. And all of the one night I was laying on the couch watching TV, this man that I've never seen before showed up. I was taken too. back by them to the, our marital bed. Right. I was screaming, and my husband was holding my mouth. Mm. And this man was taking his pants off and raping me. And I'm just laying there like, what? And when it was over, they just left me there laying. And I looked down the hallway at the front door, and this man's handing him a wad of cash. Like, the way he trafficked me. At this point, I had no idea that he had already put my pictures, pictures that I had taught, thought I was taking for him, uh -huh. sexual pictures, sure. on chat rooms, on Craigslist, on the internet. And he didn't even have to move me, like a lot of traffickers move them way away from their support system. I was 15 minutes from home. Right. The last time he sold me was not in the apartment. Okay. It was a Motel 6 in Temecula, kind of by Old Town. Okay, I know what it is. And the man comes in, acts kind of nice, kind of normal, like this is what he does all the time, just buy his girls. Even with all the rapes that were happening, I was still so innocent and young and pure. Right. You're a victim. I didn't know that people could be raped this way. The next morning, he left, and I remember looking in the mirror and just being like, like who, like this is my life? I was supposed to be graduating high school. Mm -hmm. All my friends are going off to college. And this is me. Right. My weight trainers saw me fit and strong. Right. And now I'm weak. Mm -hmm. That was like, I'm either gonna die or live like this. Incredibly brave. I want people to look at me like they're looking through a glass window. My heart, my mind, my soul, my story, my intentions. It's so beautiful. Just, here it is, and I have nothing to hide, nothing to be apologized for. You might hate me, that's okay. I love you. You might love me, I love you too. So, the Jenna McKay Foundation, when a girl wants help, mm -hmm. and she rescues herself, I don't rescue her, um, to put, give her services and resources she needs. Okay. Train those, and then I train those services and resources on sex trafficking, mm -hmm. and then, Mentoring, which to me means, I mean, I just look them in the eye and say, this is me. And then to just be the person I needed 12 years ago. This life is hard and messy and there's horrible things in this world. But that one song, What a Wonderful World, mm -hmm. really, this life is beautiful. And it's going to end. And when I'm 80 and I'm looking back on my life, I'll say, wow, I went through some shit. I did some good work with it. I raised a cool kid that became a good man right. and I enjoyed my life and I was happy and I deserve to be happy.